I took the shower with, I think it's called like hibiscus or the antibacterial soap. I'm so itchy. Like I even like, a little nip slip. <laughs> I almost did. I even had to put um, a little lotion on my shins. I'm talking to you, Dylan. Oh, I thought you were talking to the camera. Well, it's recording, but I'm talking to you. But I'm really sweaty. I think it's because I'm anxious. I will do that patch, though. So I can't forget to bring it. Will you remind me? Mm-hmm. Just put it on when we get there. I'm excited for the boys to get home already tomorrow. That's what I'm most excited for, is just to wake up from surgery, come home, get in bed, and then the babies to be here. Mm-hmm. Hopefully I'll have an appetite. Probably not. I know. You didn't last time. Oh, you we You just did. wanted popsicles and you were just crying to me and making no sense. better than last time. didn't do the best of job, job of vlogging my post-surgery the first time around so you know what this is what we get I had my breast augmentation surgery this morning at 6 15 in the morning so that was my check-in time we had to be up at 3 45 to drive two and a half hours to get there and as of right now, I'm like, I don't, I don't even know what time it is. I'm a few hours post-op. I, if you're new here, I had a lift exactly one year ago. And I waited to get implants just to be sure that it's exactly what I wanted. And, um, yeah, so I ended up going with 310 cc's high profile. And I did 310 cc's because that is the lowest amount they would allow me to do based off of um i believe it was like my size based off of my lift and um in order to fill the um breast up without having to do another lift so i just did as small as i could while having something so i'll keep you guys updated but that's where i'm at right now as of right now i am on no hard pain medicine. I'm a little bit uncomfortable, so I'm going to get back in bed. As of right now, I'm just doing Tylenol and ibuprofen, and as long as I stay in bed, I am generally fine. There's, like, no pain at all, um, but it's when I get up and moving and things like that when it really starts hurting, so I'm going to get back in bed, but I will keep you guys updated and um, posted about how I'm doing, how I'm feeling during the healing process this week. Um, I did actually just find out though that I have to massage them three times a day for 10 reps 
of this certain massage. I did not know that was a thing. Apparently, you have to do it in order to avoid scar tissue buildup. And as of right now, that just seems cruel. Seems like probably the worst thing that I could ever do to myself <laughs> is like even touching them. I haven't even seen them. I don't even want to look as of right now. Um, but I am very, very pleasantly surprised with how I'm feeling. Like I said, if I just lay in bed, I probably wouldn't even know I had the surgery. I can't move. Like I literally cannot move my arms. I cannot really move around in bed at all. My husband, like, he's so sweet. He moves me, gets me everything. Um, I did have to just get up to go um, walk around because you have to walk every two hours. So I was like, I'm just going to pop on real quick. Um, yeah, that's how we're doing. A couple hours post-op, surprisingly. Although I look haggard and look crazy, I'm feeling a lot better than I'm looking. And so I am so happy. So, so happy. I'm headed to the gym and I'm wearing a full on sweatshirt and it's 100 degrees out and people at the gym are going to be like, what is up with this girl because I usually just wear like a sports bra and tank top or something. So this is not my use but I need to protect the girls for a while. They're still small and they don't really hurt but they kind of hurt so wearing a sweatshirt. I actually have cardio today too, so I'm gonna be good. Oh, hi. Do you have shoes on, honey? I'm about to put them on. Okay, your Crocs? I don't want my Crocs. You don't want your Crocs? No. What do you want? These shoes. Okay. Got it? All by yourself? Okay. Let's go. Home? We're gonna go to the gym, babe. I'll go. You want to go play? I'll go. Yeah, you can go. Brad. Look, Brad. I'm mine. They're Grayson's. Will you bring them back to him, please? Guys, I am one week post-op from my breast augmentation surgery. I honestly don't even know what clips I've gotten. I took a few days from filming just because I ended up getting, like, a little sad because I was sick of being just like so restricted so um, we're one week post-op today and I'm feeling so good I've done today will be my third workout so I've done two workouts I have been cleared for my doctor he said that I am fine to exercise this week I just am on upper body restrictions for six weeks so I can do total lower body I've been doing cardio I so my first day back I did cardio yesterday I did a lower body workout and all I did was machine work because I can't lift anything over 15 pounds so I can't like lift a plate to put it on a leg press or I can't lift dumbbells to do RDL so it was all machine work which is totally fine I didn't feel anything I did try and do abs at the end of my workout and you don't realize how much you use your pec muscles to like help you do the ab exercise so skipped abs did like one rep and I was like nope I'm done um but pain I, I'm just so pleasantly surprised with how good I felt after the surgery like the first day was probably the worst of it but even then it was fine like it was very manageable it just felt like really as if somebody was just sitting on my chest otherwise it was it wasn't bad at all uh, a lot of people said like day two I would be in a lot of pain I really wasn't if I wasn't moving I was fine um, I never took any of my pain medicine I just ended up doing Tylenol and ibuprofen switching on and off and then um, my uh, stitches are on the inside and so they are basically gone like I have no like scabbing 
or anything. So I get to start my scar treatment. Um, and then I'm trying to think. Get to start my scar treatment. Pain was good. Oh, and sleep. I ended up getting my best sleep all last week. Before that, I was up like because I've been drinking a ton of water and um, working out late at night. And so my sleep has been really bad. I've been up like every few hours. Last week, I slept all through the night. Uh, you have to sleep a little elevated, but that was fine. I, I, yeah, I slept all through the night, all nights. I didn't, I only had one bad night of sleep. And that is only because I was up super late at night Googling if I'm going to get cancer from getting... <laughs> from getting breast implants um so i ended up staying till like one up till 1 30 woke up at 3 30 with anxiety so i was a little bit anxious about that um that's why i got bad sleep that night but other than that slept amazing but yeah i am very pleased with the whole procedure my doctor is amazing so it's um dr londonberry uh, from Shape Cosmetics in Spokane. He has an office in Tri-Cities, but their surgical place office is in Spokane, Washington. Um, and so, yeah, he did amazing. I'm so pleased with the scars, hardly any scarring with where he did the breast augmentation. Um, pain was very manageable, not bad at all. And the results, I mean, obviously I'm in like a modest shirt right now um they are the perfect size i'm so happy with the size i got i could have honestly maybe went a little bit bigger but if i'm being real with myself i'm always in a sports bra my biggest concern was like i still need to be appropriate in a sports bra i don't need to be hanging out i wear a sports bra for my job i'm always filming i just i just need to be appropriate and so i'm very happy with this size probably like a c right now so i went from an a to a c um with 310 cc with the silicone implants so very happy doing the massages like you need to um that's probably like the worst part of it is having to do the massages because you have to uh try to avoid the what is it called What is it called where why can i think of it not cartilage um the scar tissue the scar tissue can develop around the implant which is not good so you have to do these massages to move the implants to avoid getting scar tissue around the implants so i've been doing those and it's been good but yeah overall amazing so happy with the results so happy i did it oh and i know people are going to ask about price so i'll just throw that in here real quick so for my implants sale silicone i always get so confused silicone implants i uh, it costs eight thousand six hundred dollars and so my first procedure where i got the lift that cost ten thousand dollars even and then this procedure was eight thousand six hundred dollars so in total it was eighteen thousand six hundred dollars and that is only because i did the two surgeries separate it would have been much cheaper to just do the lift and the implants at the same time i was quoted like fourteen thousand for the implants and the lift but because i waited you obviously have to pay for a whole other surgery anesthesia the whole thing again and so i did have to pay a little bit more about like four grand more it's fine i'm so pleased i would do it all over again um yeah very happy with the results but i'm gonna close out this video let me know if you guys have any questions down below um and i can answer those like periodically in like the next videos but yeah i love you guys so much and i'll see you in the next one